Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. In this video guys, we're gonna talk about Justin Bieber firing Lou Taylor and Scooter Braun within the same week. Justin Bieber is like, I have a child on the way and I can't afford for anyone to be playing with my money, my intellectual property, or anything of that nature. Did he say that directly? No. But I believe that he's being more tactful with his, you know, um, intellectual property, his money, and everything that is attached to him. Now, do you guys remember a couple um, months ago, Sloan Bella has been consistently telling us that they are plotting to take down Justin Bieber. I honestly believe that we are seeing the beginning of this. No, we know that Hollywood, they will manipulate you, trick you, and once they use you to their liking, and once you grow up mature and realize that what they got you involved in is wrong, they will take you out if you dare open your mouth to to speak on them. And Justin Bieber did such already. So you know that they have been out for him since then. Justin Bieber, who is just an innocent child who did not get the proper parental supervis supervision. Now, why they're going to take him down? These people are just evil. There's really no other way to put it. And Sloan Bella said it. They're just evil, right? However, seems as though Justin Bieber is, you know, trying to clean house and disassociate himself from Lou Taylor and Sean Diddy Combs. That's exactly what he's doing. Justin Bieber has a child on the way. He's looking to his left, looking to his right, and he's realizing that a lot of things doesn't make sense. Sloan Bella told us also that he has so much regrets living with, and he wished that he could go back to a particular time in his life when he made a decision. But again, guys, that's what they do. They catch you out at that vulnerable stage when they know that they can easily trick you, manipulate you, give you everything that you want. Doesn't it sound like the devil? That's exactly what these people are. The devil advocates. Now, let's get into this report because what is going on is pretty interesting. No, Scooter Braun, he has retired from um, his group and we have been hearing reports about Scooter Braun retiring for the past couple of months. Also, there were reports suggesting that Scooter Braun was in some legal issues with the feds and they wanted to ship him over. I think it was Korea or Tokyo to manage another corporation that Hive America has, right? And, um, ever since the legal, um, allegations, that has been going on against Scooter Braun, a lot of his artists has cut ties with him. At that point, there were a few that decided that they were going to stay behind. Justin Bieber and Ariana Grande happens to be two of those artists. However, no, um, Justin Bieber cut ties with Scooter Braun the very same week that he's retiring. I guess he realized that, you know what, things are not looking good, so let me do myself a favor and exit. But he's saying that the reason why he's cutting ties is because he realized that he needs to create memory with his kids. His kids are getting older and his personal life has took some hits. He realized that the sacrifices that he was once willing to make could no longer be justified. They're saying that he will remain CEO of Hive America and on, and a board member of the parent company, Hive South Korea. Yes, it's South Korea that they wanted to send him to at the time that he was allegedly being investigated by the feds. We don't know what happened to those, um, that because there was actually a report about it, but that has since then gone under water. No, it's really given the sense that he's stepping down for some reason because he's saying that he is ending his career as an artist manager. But he has no artist to manage at this point because the artists, they have cut ties with him. So it would definitely make sense that he 
basically moves on to another position in the company. But you know how they do once embarrassment hits, they try to polish it off and say, oh, I need to spend more time with family. We see them doing the same thing when Jennifer Lopez um, t- ticket tours, the t- ticket for her tour was not selling. They said that, you know, she took the time to work on her marriage and family with Ben. And then this week they're saying that, you know what? Um, Live Nation as a part of an agreement um, that was made back in the time of the pandemic. If a artist project has been canceled, they are entitled to, I think, 25% um, of the contract um, sign on fee. So for JLo, it was initially $10 million. So she's getting $2.5 million, right? So, I mean, I'm just letting you guys know that so that you can understand how they try to polish off these things. And then months later, you will hear what is the truth behind all of this, right? Now, we're moving on to Miss Lou Taylor because Justin Bieber has fired Miss Lou Taylor. But not just that, a lot has been going on with Lou Taylor. Like um, the police has been said to be at her TriStar company um, for the past couple of weeks. BJ Investigates have has been covering a lot of reports about Lou Taylor. Now, if you guys remember, Lou Taylor was the head of um, Britney Spears' conservatorship. And when it was brought up, she would consistently deny that she was the head of Britney's conservatorship, even though it was their big black bolt and cannot hide. However, um, she's that kind of person. And remember, this is the woman who allegedly stole Britney Spears' $600 million that have been giving out loans to Kim Kardashian and her siblings. Lou Taylor managed Chris, um, Kim Kardashian, Chris Jenner, and Kylie Jenner. She doesn't manage, um, you know, Kendall, Courtney, or Chloe, but she manages Chris, Kim, and Kylie. Now, let's get into this headline about Justin Bieber firing Lou Taylor's ass. Now, they're saying that Taylor is in the headlines again for controversy. The Hollywood business manager was reportedly fired by Justin Bieber amid news of her company TriStar being named in a damning Diddy lawsuit. No. Let's stick up in here because I also want to say this. Lou Taylor and her companies and her affiliates, they have been in a lot of lawsuits since um, Lou Taylor has been named in Sean D. DeCombe's lawsuit. And the lawsuits that they've been in is somewhat, in some cases, it's all about money. It's all about trickery and people getting swindled, people getting tricked and all of that. So I just wanted to make that clear. No. Taylor's clients have included Jennifer Lopez, Steven Tyler, Kris Jenner, Kim Kardashian, Kylie Jenner, Gwen Stefani, Reba McIntyre, Priyanka Chopra, Mary J. Blige, and Florida Georgia Line. Now, guys, Florida Georgia Line also has a lawsuit that Lou Taylor is involved in. Florida Georgia Line, I think they've sued Lou Taylor or some company connected to Lou Taylor. But she's a part of the lawsuit that Florida Georgia Line has filed. So when I tell you guys that she's involved in a lot of legal wranglings, she's deep. I don't know, but I guess they say, you know how they say karma, right? Now, Lou Taylor is in the headlines again for the wrong reason. According to British media, the Hollywood business manager has been fired by Justin Bieber amid news of her company, TriStar Sports and Entertainment Group, being named in a damning Diddy lawsuit. Now, per the LA Times, one of Taylor's employee, Robin Greenhill, was listed as Sean Combs' accountant. And also, Robin Greenhill is involved in a lot more lawsuits, guys. This is a never-ending scenario and everything and everyone in in all the lawsuits they are somewhat connected at this point now 
Um, they're saying Robin Green Ill was listed as Sean Diddy Combs' accountant and allegedly oversaw payments to sex workers. The claims comes from music producer Rodney Lidera Jones, who also accused Combs of sexually harassing and drugging him. Taylor's business relationship with Bieber reportedly end on bad terms, and the baby singer has since hired Johnny Depp's business manager, Edward White, per British media. No. That's the end of that report there. Do you guys remember that video that I did when I told you all that? I learned that they were meddling in Justin Bieber's money, allegedly. Okay, I guess you all are seeing it coming to light. Yeah, I know my channel is small and all of that, but guess what? I have to give myself a pat on the shoulder for the accuracy, okay? Because when I say things, some people may not see it at the same time. But as time passes, you all can definitely see what I was talking about. And at that point, it makes sense to you all. So it's not just that when I say things, you know, it's not true. It's just that sometimes, you know, I catch things a lot. I do a lot of research in my spare time, okay? So... That's all I have to say about that for this video because you know that a lot is going to go down. And I believe as Sloan told us that we are going to see them playing with Justin Bieber at this point. She told us that they're going to play with Justin Bieber. They're going to use him. And I believe that, that is what they're also doing to Ye. They're playing with him. They're using Ye as a distraction tool, a distraction method at this point. But guys, I want to hear from you though. What are your thoughts? And while you're at it, if this video a bit thumbs up, share if you care. And see you guys later. Bye guys.